Hello friends, in today's video we're going to be discussing an interesting problem when trying to update a .NET application web API from .NET 6 to .NET 8. I'm Muhammad, and if you're trying to learn about .NET web APIs, AWS, Azure, please make sure you subscribe and like this video. Now let's get started. So what I have here is I have a .NET web API which is built on .NET 6. So now if I open this, I go to CSS approach. As you can see here, it's built on .NET 6. And basically it has a few controllers. So we can see it has an authentication controller and a Teams controller. And if we open the program.cs, we can see everything here is actually configured for .NET 6, which is a normal .NET configuration, nothing really specifically for .NET 6. So what I want to do is I want to update this to .NET 8. So let's see how we can do it. So in essence, if you're trying to update it, what you can do is, first of all, you need to go to the CS approach, change this target framework to .NET 8. And then what you need to do is you need to update all of the different packages. So if we go here and go to the manage NuGet packages, we'll be able to see that this is all the packages that I need to update. So let's start by updating them one by one. And then we're going to be seeing where the problem might lies. So now I'm just going to continue updating all of those. Okay, great. So now all of my packages has been updated. As we can see here, everything is now in .NET 8. So if I go now to my terminal and if I navigate to that folder and put .NET build, although I have updated everything to .NET 8, it's still asking me that I need to install the .NET 6 SDK. And it's telling me that JSON, global.json is still requiring the .NET 6 SDK. But if I take a look here, as you can see here, I don't have a global.json. So what is this global.json file? So if you need to actually find it when you're trying to update from 8.NET 6 to 8, what you need to do is you need to go to the root directory of your solution. So right now, if I open this in, for example, in Visual Studio Code, and here, as you can see, I'm still in that application itself. And I open this in Visual Studio Code. So if I go one step backwards and I open this up, as you can see here, inside my root directory of my application, I have something global.json. And basically global.json here is still telling me that in order for me to run my application, I still need to have version 6.0.0 of my .NET SDK in order for me to run. Although I have updated my project inside my CS project to utilize .NET 8. So what's happening here is this global.json file is actually overriding the .NET version inside the project target and basically it's telling the .NET SDK that it needs to have this specific version rather than the one in my target project. And here we, where we can see the problem is because basically right now, whatever this is, is or whatever I, I do for my application and update it, as we can see here in .NET 8, it doesn't really matter as long as my global.json is here, I'm not able to do anything. So a very easy fix for it is simply by deleting this. And now my global.json has disappeared. And if I go back to Rider and I try, for example, to go back here and put .NET build, we can see it built successfully. And now if I try to run it, and now let's open it up in my browser and we go to the Swagger file, we can see here everything is working. I'm able to get my tokens. And if I take this and try to log in, my application works. I'm able to log in. I'm getting back the result. And with this even, I can start executing those endpoints here. If I'm using Postman, I can call them because I need to add the authorization header. So this has been a quick video just to showcase a potential problem that you might face when you're trying to upgrade from .NET 6 to .NET 8. The solution is quite simple, but just to give you some of the items that you need to look out for when you're doing this upgrade. I hope this video was helpful. If you'd like to support me, please consider supporting me on Patreon or buying me a coffee. If you have any questions, please make sure you put them in the comments down below. With that said, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.